33 weeks to build and almost two and a half million pounds worth of investment. A brand new training facility has opened for the army on Salisbury Plain. The site at New Zealand Farm Camp has multiple uses. The army says it's essential as the face of warfare changes globally. Edward Salt reports. Through the mist and the fog, Salisbury Plain comes alive with action. Go to me! The scenario typically um, a recce kind of reconnaissance screen will have been out and conducted some kind of close target reconnaissance on the building uh, which was identified to be harbouring some enemy uh, forces. Uh, our guys will then plan an assault onto the, uh, onto the building and how we then break into this establishment and subsequently clear the building. This represents almost two and a half million pounds worth of investment in the Army's facilities here on Salisbury Plain, but also the training need for the changing face of warfare for many years to come. Some of the buildings have got tunnels between them. We've got hidden rooms, we've got arms caches. So search operations to find high value targets. The training world is evolving and we don't know what the, where the next threat is going to come from. So therefore we have to invest in our training facilities so that we can adapt and evolve with the requirement. It's a far cry from what New Zealand farm camp used to look like. These old huts have gone. In its place, proper buildings, street lighting, a tannoy system and even this gantry that means troops can observe and critique scenarios. It's very beneficial for us. Um, we, we, we sort of pride ourselves in urban clearances. So these buildings here and the surrounding sort of rural areas here are perfect and ideal for us to practice those skills. The investment is part of £1 billion that's being spent moving 4,000 troops and their families back from Germany to South Wiltshire. By 2020, 13,000 will be based on Salisbury Plain. Back at New Zealand Farm and the exercise continues. The army says training facilities like this one mean that troops will be well equipped to fight modern day and future threats, both at home and abroad. Edward Salt, BBC Points West on Salisbury Plain.